West Haven's brand new mayor already making some big moves. She's imposed a hiring, spending, and overtime freeze. News 8's Renee Schmiel spoke with Mayor Nancy Rossi today, and she joins us now live with what the mayor had to say about that directive. Renee. And Darren, this is Rossi's first week on the job, and she says the city has to start saving money. So she initiated the freeze, which went into effect immediately. West Haven Mayor Nancy Rossi was inaugurated on Sunday, but is already making some big decisions. She sent out a memorandum announcing the freeze, which means non-essential positions won't be filled unless it's for the safety or health of the residents. And the mayor's office will have to approve it. We just deficit bonded. We found out we have a deficit in this year's budget. We have a deficit in the year of the budget that already closed. The mayor's office will also have to approve overtime and expenditures over $500. But this won't apply to essential services like the city's police. Rossi says the state's budget woes have impacted West Haven. The car tax situation, it affects um, not only the city, but the three fire districts. So that does, it definitely plays a role in this. The city's freeze doesn't cover public schools. Though Rossi requested that the Board of Education also cut back, but Superintendent Neil Cavallaro says they're also in a freeze. We're on track to run the year with a balanced budget, but if we can save money and turn money back over to the city, um, we'll, we'll do that. Principals are asked to abide by the freeze. Not all jobs are being filled. That's done on a case-by-case -case basis. If a teaching position were to open because someone left, if it were to impact instruction, we would most likely have to fill that job. Rossi says she doesn't expect the freeze to have a negative impact on the residents of West Haven. I think it's going to have a favorable impact because I know one thing from going door to door, no one wants their taxes increased. <laughs> Rossi says the freeze could last until the end of the fiscal year. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Renee Schmiel and back to you.